Hey, I'm Peter. A question I get asked a lot by you guys is, um, how do I get a manager? Why don't I have a manager? Especially people wanting a manager who's going to work on a percentage basis, which is increasingly rare these days. Well, the thing is, if you want a manager to take an interest in you, you need to show them that, A, you can work your fucking face off, and not, oh, we'll work our fucking faces off if you get us opportunities. Right now, you're working your face off and getting opportunities. B, that your music is really fucking good, and that people are going to give a shit about it. And C, that there is um, long-term financial solubility, right? Because if you're looking at a manager asking for a percentage, they take anywhere between 10 to 20%. A real manager probably isn't going to want to work for you for less than five grand a year, which means you're going to need to be grossing 25 grand a year. That's a pretty high number. That's a lot of shows you got to be playing, a lot of work you got to be putting in to hit that five grand number. It's definitely doable, but you got to be aware of that, right? And again, this isn't because these people don't care about the music or they, they think you're bad. It's because the amount of work I have to put in to grow a small band, the amount of favors I have to pull, etc., etc. I need to be really, really convinced that it's going to be worthwhile. Because if I'm not really, really convinced that it's going to be worthwhile, then I'm just twiddling my thumbs. Because if the band's taking a week to get back to me, or there's no money, well, why should I do it? There's a bunch of other good bands out there who'd probably be interested in working with me, but could give the same opportunities, who might, you know, make a point of actually replying to all their emails on time, who might make a point of hustling, who might make a point of facilitating that growth, right? And this is kind of the key here, is embracing the fact that you want the music industry to be coming to you and that you shouldn't be going to it, right? Oh my god. <laughs> so what this means is you need to show that you are the value add. It's not the industry person who's the value add, right? So at the end of the day, oh my god, um, at the end of the day, if you're not bringing value, if you're not showing consistently like, hey man, this is how what we're doing, this is what we're able to do, this is how we're able to help you, why should they give a fuck, you know, because Again, it's about money, it's about seeing that there's long-term growth, and it's about showing that you're a hard worker. So often people think that they're gonna get some big manager to take an interest in their band, and suddenly it's going to lead to all these opportunities and they'll be good. No, the manager needs to see that you're working hard because there's so much extra work added on when you're starting to get these opportunities that people just don't wanna do. Now, this all being said, some managers ask for a monthly retainer. This is an increasingly common model. Uh, I'm actually a fan of this model. I think it makes sense for bands in the right position who have the funds to invest. Um, you know, I think it's just also, when you do that, very important to make sure that you have uh, certain deliverables very clear and you have certain expectations that are very clear, you know? Because, like, at the end of the day, it's hard to get bands opportunities, but they should be able to help you with your marketing, with your growth, etc., etc., you know? So, if you want to pay someone a monthly retainer, go for it. I do that kind of stuff all the time, you know? I think it makes a lot of sense. But, again, I try to make it very clear with clients on that level Here's how that, here's what's happening here. Here's what our long-term goals are. Here's how we're gonna get you to a point where we're doing a percentage basis. So really as simple as that, right? So make the industry come to you by showing your music is good, by showing you're dedicated through actions, not just words, right? That's really the key is actions speak louder than words. Show me tangibly how hard you work. And then, you know, of course, there's gotta be the financial solubility. If you're talking to a manager, don't be afraid to show them numbers and don't try to blow the numbers up or inflate them or whatever because they will find out before even signing you or giving you opportunities. So don't even try to blow smoke up someone's ass. Simple as that. If you can do those basic things, you're going to grow, people are going to come to you, you're going to get opportunities. Those things are really hard to do though. So be ready for it to take some time. Simple as that. Take care.